Hey everyone, thanks for joining another video. Uh, today I'm going to be tying a glass scud. Um, I've had a couple of requests for this one. I think people have seen some of my posts um, on Instagram of one uh, that I did in a lot of chartreuse. It's a chartreuse infused glass scud. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. hope you follow along. So in the vise, I have a size um, 14 caddis hook. Um, and for my thread, I'm going to be using just a light olive 70 denier by UTC. And I'm going to start just in front of the hook eye here. I'm going to lay a small thread base. Because we're going to be tying on some um, antennas and sort of legs at the back of it as well. Um, sticking with the chartreuse green theme, I'm going to be using some green pheasant tail for both the front and back of the fly. As these things are sort of rolling around in the water, if you've ever seen them, they're usually all curled up um, and you can't even tell what's front or back on them. So I put them on both ends and just keeping those tips aligned. We want them fairly long. Oh, that looks okay. And I want them to stick up just a little. Tie those all the way down the shank, rip off the ends, and I'm going to get another few fibers of the same olive green pheasant tail. For the tail, uh, not really a tail, more legs on these scuds. This, I'm just going to do a couple loose wraps. And adjust my length here. Nip off the ends. Tie those in. Keeping a really good uniform body um, is going to help with the glass aspect of the fly later on. Um, for the ribbing, one of the aspects that make it really sort of pop out, um, I'm going to be using a chartreuse ultra wire. And I'm going to tie that on, on the underside. Now for all the legs on this bug, I'm going to use uh, my favorite material. For those who, who really do follow, um, know that I'm in love with ostrich plumes. So this stuff is, oh, I love it. I even like the way it smells. Yeah, yeah. Let's 
So I'm just exposing some of the stem on a single strand and the length of those little individual fibers is about what I want. So I'm gonna secure that in. not too close. And now we're ready to start wrapping it to create our legs. I like these nice and tight, so really close touching wraps. Take your time. The ribbing, as always, is going to help separate and segment the legs the next step. It's about good there. I want to leave some room because when we start topping it off with UV vas uh, the UV resin and the ribbing, it's going to start to bulk up at the head, which you don't really want. Now for the next step, I'm just going to put in a quick whip finish here so I don't lose any of the work. Now what I like to do is I like to come in here and actually I'm going to trim this as close as possible without cutting the main stem. Also come in here because so I really want just the fibers to stick down not so much to the sides so that it looks more like that Now, actually, before we put on the ribbing, I'm gonna be putting a coat of UV resin. And for that, I like to use Golf Fat Man, um, simply because it goes on really, really thick. Um, and it gives you a lot of time to change and manipulate it and get it in the shape that you want. So I absolutely love this stuff.
And now I'll come in with a bodkin and get it shaped the way I want. You can see why this stuff is good and gives you enough time to accomplish what you want. good just gonna hit that with the UV light now I find with the with this thick resin it um, you do need a little bit more light exposure um, just to make sure it really solidifies and also it gets rid of all the tackiness with the thinner resins I don't know I'd say maybe seven to ten seconds but with this one I find it's a bit longer Chartreuse Ultra Wire, and this is the part that could get tricky uh, because of the UV resin. It gets, I guess, slippery, so to speak. So you can't really put a ton of tension. So again, just take your time. Find these steps is where thread tension and wire tension simultaneously is extra important. You really don't want this stuff slipping off now. I'm just gonna helicopter that off. And I'm just stroking all the fibers down. So it creates a nice leg look. Just gonna build up a little head here. I've seen versions of these where they actually like the color in eyes as well, which looks amazing. I don't think I have the right markers for it because it just The thread just like absorbs it and s just smudges the whole thing. So now we're gonna put in a whip finish. Let me try that again. It's gonna help here is if you tilt the hook here. Forgot to do that. Put it back now because we're actually going to put some more 
UV on it. You could go with one or two more layers of the classic, the thinner, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this with another layer of Fat Man. Maybe not as much this time. And this time I'm gonna cover up my head and thread wraps. Just making sure it's nice and even. My thread wraps are covered. I'll hit that with the UV light again. Looks like my battery's dying. And there you have it folks, that is one chartreuse infused glass scut. So I hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something, good luck on the waters, hope you tune into the next video. Um, if you haven't done so already, do please do subscribe, appreciate the support, and thanks for watching guys, cheers.